Hey guys, it's Miss Golian. I have your slide of notes on the unraveling of reconstruction. So this slide is called Things Start to Unravel. And I'm going to talk about how reconstruction starts to end with the election of Rutherford B. Hayes. Remember, you may take, you should take notes. And um, we will have a quiz on this slide when class starts next class. You can use whatever notes you have taken to help you. So let's get started. We have the end of Ulysses S. Grant's presidency. He has served two terms at this point, and he has decided not to run for a third term. So the Republicans in 1876 are going to nominate Rutherford B. Hayes of Ohio. So you're getting a lot of Ohioans as president or as nominees for president at this time period. The Democrats are going to nominate Samuel Tilden. He is from New York. If you remember, um, Grant's opponents before had both been from New York as well. So you have kind of the same two northern states vying for the presidency. Votes are cast. Samuel Tilden has 184 out of the 185 needed electoral college votes to win. So the thought is that when the final votes are counted, he is going to win. But there's a problem. Four states had not sent their votes in, and 20 other votes were still out because the returns were irregular. There were issues with the voting. The four states who had not sent their votes in were Louisiana, South Carolina, and Florida. Those are three of the four states, and they had all returned two sets of returns. They had a Democratic set and a Republican set. Because remember, this is a time when the South is very bitterly divided over Reconstruction. Um, and African Americans are starting to vote, mostly for Republicans. Whites are unhappy with the Republicans, and they're voting Democratic. So these states are sending in two sets of returns. The Constitution doesn't say anything about that. It says that the election return should be sent to Congress. It doesn't say how many. It just says send them to Congress. And then in the presence of both the House and the Senate, those returns are opened by the president of the Senate, and that is the vice president, but it doesn't say who should count them. So in this case, if it had been counted by the president of the Senate, that would have been a Republican counting him. He would have only counted the Republican returns. The Speaker of the House was a Democrat. If he had counted them, it would have been only the Democratic votes getting counted. So Congress passes a new law called the Electoral Count Act. This law is passed in early 1877, just a couple months after the election of 1876, and it set up a commission consisting of 15 men selected from the Senate, the House, and the Supreme Court. Eight Republicans and seven Democrats voted to accept the Republican returns, which meant that the Republican returns were the ones that would be counted. Democrats vowed to fight it, and they struck a deal. And that deal is the Compromise of 1877. The Democrats say, fine, Hayes can be president, but you got to get federal troops out of the South. We want Reconstruction to be over. We want the troops out of our states. There were still troops in Louisiana and South Carolina. So what happens is that this partisan violence doesn't happen. You don't have fights breaking out over who's going to be president, but black civil rights are sacrificed. African Americans are not going to get the rights that it looked like they were going to get after the Civil War. The Republican Party abandons racial equality, and we're going to see almost 100 more years of segregation and laws that really prevent blacks from getting equal rights. So that's the end of this slide.
I do want you to watch the Hip Hughes history video on the Compromise of 1877. It's posted on Rockspace just below this video. The quit, whatever notes you take on it can also be used for the quiz, okay? And remember, I'm not gonna ask you small little details. I just wanna know the big facts, the big concepts, and I wanna know that you understand them. Feel free to email me or send me a text through Remind if you have questions. I will see you in class.